What's up, everybody? Black Ninja 797 here. Black Ninja 797 here. <laughs> <coughs> hey, what's up, guys? Aqua or Zach here. And in today's video... <laughs> but what's up, guys? Black Ninja 797 here. And welcome back to another live stream. We're going to be playing horror games, as you guys requested. And we're going to be playing Plasmophobia. And I'm going to be playing with my good friend here, Zach. Uh, it's just that right now he's responding to someone. So it'll take us just a minute to get into a game here. Uh, but we should end up having some fun here, being able to play some horror games for a little bit here, as you guys requested. And uh, we should get started in just a moment. I will just let everyone pretty much just roll in. Same thing with you guys. Just once again, recently, as of last night, we hit 150 followers on Twitch, so I just want to say thank you guys. I tremendously appreciate that, and we look forward to a 150 Twitch uh, special very, very soon. We just did the 1200 YouTube one today, so that was a lot of fun. All right, Zach, uh, you got a guesstimation about how long it's going to be, or uh, should I just start a game or something? How long what's going to be? Like, how long it will take you to respond to your friends so we can play? Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, cool. Hey, Loms is in here. What's up, Loms? Hopefully you're having a good day, man. You ready to see me uh, get my shit uh, scared out of me? I got a all ambiance around it with me. I got my lights turned off, and I got the one light on here just so you can see my face, but it's dark in here, so should be a lot of fun. All right, uh... Do you want to queue it or should I queue it? Queue what? A public lobby or a private lobby? Um. Well, do we want to do public first? Well, that was the idea. Yeah, I just started one and I had somebody join and then they just left instantly. Now somebody else joined and they also are here. Everyone keeps joining and leaving. I think they're expecting to find a full lobby up by, by insta queuing. Just uh, send me the code. Uh. I don't think there's a code for publics. I see server lobby and there's nothing in here. Yeah, I don't think I can specifically play with you uh, oh, in publics. Wait, I, I see your. But I can. Well, no, wait, no, that's adding equipment. Wait, can you just join me directly? Uh, there should be a way that we can play, but also play in public. Yeah, I just joined. Oh, that's your I, name. I went the, yeah, I went through the server browser and. Oh, so you just have to specifically join my server. All right, okay. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll just let people join in. Hey, we've also got Banana Cake in here. What's up, Banana Cake? Hopefully you're also having a good day. And uh, welcome back to another live stream. We're going to be playing the horror games as you guys requested. Playing Plasmophobia with my good friend here, Zach. And uh, I got the ambiance going with the darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. How are you? I'm doing really good, man. I'm really looking forward to just uh, playing here with uh, Zach and maybe getting a couple of good scares in. Just uh, having some spooky time. <laughs> That change my name in game no your name's still the same you have to leave and join back or something yeah i think we'll give the lobby about five minutes to fill if we can't get a uh, public lobby to fill to four within five minutes we'll, what we'll do is we'll just play private matches right. or either that or we'll just queue without the four yeah you but I, I think you can i think you just have to get majority rule on the ready ups but, uh, yeah, chat, uh, we'll, we'll start soon. We'll start in about, like, five minutes' time. Just letting everyone, uh, get in here, because, uh, they might not got the notification yet. But, uh, feel free to let me know also how you guys are doing. Feel free to let me know how you are, Banana Cake and Loms. Hopefully you guys are doing well. <sighs> awesome. Really glad to hear, Banana Cake. Uh... Is this a mobile game too? I don't know. I don't think so. Is it? It's definitely not. No, it's a uh, it's a PC game. But uh, the good news is though is that this game is really honestly not that uh, convoluted. You could probably play this on a decent laptop. Yeah, no. Nah. Like uh, this game, eh, it can't really be that big. I mean, how big was it when we installed it, Zach? Like what five gigs? I can check right now. Hold up. Because the game kind of runs like a, like a, a like a almost kind of like a subpar indie game, not not quite like triple A, but uh, it's it's kind of like in the middle. It's like in between indie game like Roblox and it's it's in between like triple A game, because it's I don't think it runs even at at uh ten eighty. I think it runs at seven twenty, and uh, it's not that big of a game. You can change that in your PC settings. What the graphics? Yeah. 
Well, I know, but I'm just trying to think of the default because if they, if they're worried about having it on mobile, then I'm assuming they don't have a good enough computer. I'm, not, I'm also assuming they don't have a computer whatsoever. Yeah, that's also the case too. Yeah, mobile game is uh, mobile gaming has been on the horizon lately. Like, not even necessarily just playing them on your phone, but like AAA titles are actually going on smartphones. This is saying it's a 15 gigabyte game. Fifth, yeah, it's 15 gigabytes, Chad. So it's not that bad. Yeah. Around 15, it's like 13, but. It would be kind of cool if this was on mobile. I mean, Among Us is on mobile, Fortnite is on mobile. Yeah, your name switched. Uh, Among Us is on mobile, Fortnite's on mobile. Um, for the longest time, there's always been a couple of games on mobile, but those are like the two big ones I know now, especially they all have cross-play, so. Candy Crush. <laughs> yeah, that, that thing's been around for a while. That auto-installs in Windows, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, that pisses me off, by the way. <laughs> it's like, I, I do not want that on my hard drive. I don't want people to think I'm owning Candy Crush. Because that, that way they'll be like, oh, we have several million installs, but it's default on Windows. So, reality, reality is mean that it's default on Windows, and therefore your numbers are skewed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm curious. Does it only let you do this if you have four people? Because I can't hit ready up. But I, I see that some people have a red X compared to a, a gray X. And let's see. Hello. I need to buy my... Oh, this dude is right in front of the... I was going to say he's right in front of the screen. <laughs> and he left, damn. I don't think you can play private uh, for some re or public for some reason. I can't hit ready up even when there was a full lobby. Maybe it's because I didn't select a job. Yeah, you need to select a job first. Try the prison one if you see it. Oop! I didn't mean to change my character. Uh, go back. Go back. Ah, yes, there we go. Actually, I'll, I'll pick a different guy just so that way you can tell me apart at first glance. All right, prison. Okay. All right, chat. We're gonna start up here in a second. I'm just gonna try to see if we can uh, have some people queue. Uh, what's the push to talk button in here again? There's the radio one. There's the proximity one. V. V and that's it. V is local, and B is radio. Radio. Okay. Yeah. What was the one that we played last time that was humongous? Because I want to try to not play that again. Is that the school or the hotel? The, the school and the asylum are huge. Yeah, because I was going to say medium maps would, or, would be pretty damn good. Mama says hi. trying to think what was the uh the one game that vanos played with his buddies a while ago it was like uh, it was like five no 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 it was it was uh, a horror game and he like made it with like syndicate or something like vanos did like he like co-developed an indie game and it was like five years ago and they played that a while it was another multiplayer horror game it might have been in like a gmod map no it was its own it was its own thing it's just that you would have to see it to remember it it was it was only for like a couple weeks that he did it Look it up. Like, it was like, you had monsters and you had to run to a portal to try to end up escaping and you, like, were invincible within that portal and you could be, like, different monsters and you would play as the monsters and try to chase your friends. Okay, here we go. Uh, hit ready up. Dead Realm? Yeah, Dead Realm. Alright, chat, here we go. Horror game time. And for basically a long story short, for those of you guys that do not know the premise of this game, basically we're essentially being like the, uh, 
the ghost hunting shows where we end up going to investigate some stuff and this game actually does use your microphone it's a, you and up to a team of four and you get this truck full of all these supplies like uv lights uh emf uh this the ghost uh, uh chat box i think is what's called it's, there's a certain thing the emf uh is the static one but there's another one that specifically records it their their audio i think i can't remember but it's the one ghost box that you talk into and uh you go to a haunted location that you randomly pick and you have to try to figure out what the monster is and get out alive without killing you. Dead realm servers are shut down. So uh, that's funny. Oh, uh, lol. Yo, somebody stole my yo, somebody yo, stole my fake flag, 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 flag. Pretty sure it is. I forgot the controls. Oh, uh, Joseph's also in here too. What's up, Joseph? Uh, Loms asks, "Are you in Discord?" No, I'm not in the Discord. Loms, like the, the uh, this is the one game I'm actually just gonna be only in the Discord with people I'm playing with, or specifically just by myself, just solely because uh, I don't want to lose the immersion. What is this? Yeah, I can't see a single thing. Yeah, I can't see a single thing either. But uh, for the other games, will be cool. It's just that I feel like it'd be too easy to like get comfortable and then be like, "Oh, this isn't scary." And by the way, if you guys notice that the game seems like it's lagging, that's because it actually is the game. The game is good, but uh, it's not the most stable thing in the world. So here's the prison. So yeah, chat. Uh, basically, long story short, you get all these things like flashlights and uh, EMFs. And uh, the chat box, and you go to random locations, try to figure out what it is, like a ghost, demon, wraith, etc. Uh, and you mark down clues, and then you get your educational guess after you find enough material, and try to get to the truck without dying. And you can use things uh, like proximity chat and radios because it registers your mic, so it makes it sound like you're far away, even though you're like in a, like an online lobby with people. So you can also even talk to the ghost. You can be like, give us a sign, and then like all of a sudden a ghost will show up or something. Holy crap, this is dark. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, I'm trying to remember what buttons do which again. Okay, so this is cycling through. I, I just worried I'm going to drop my light. T is the flashlight. Also, do you want to get out of the call? Uh, Yeah, we can leave the call. That would probably make more sense. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so Zach, just uh, speak for a second. See, that's basically what I mean, Chaz. Like, that now you can hear Zach, like, that way. Sounds like he's on a radio, even though he's, like, right next to me. There's handcuffs here. Hmm. I'm in a room while, while it's light, so I can see what I'm doing when I'm trying to fiddle for the controls. What the fuck was that? So these are walking, obviously. That's dropping. Okay, I do not want to drop that. Let's that back up. Okay, so here's the book, yeah. So here's what we gotta do, chat. We gotta find three pieces of evidence, and then we gotta guess what it is. That's that's the uh, whole plot of the game, basically. Let's crouch. I'm pretty sure G is dropping stuff. We also might not necessarily be talking a lot, uh, chat, because if I have you guys in the uh, area here, I feel like I'll lose a lot of focus. But that's just not on, that's not on you guys, that's on me. So don't worry too much about it. Uh, the whole entire idea is that it's more about immersion, but I'll still interact with you guys. Don't worry. Because I need you guys for comfort. <laughs> okay, I lost track of you guys because I was in a room for a while and now I'm alone. I just found someone in a cafeteria at A Block. Oh, I found there we go. I found you all. Oh, that's me. I have the EMF. Yeah, I have the EMF. Well, that's what I was asking. Is that because like earlier I was asking what's the EMF and then the ghost box? Those are two different things. 
This is the this is the spirit box. The white thing is the. Yeah. yeah well, then I just have the spirit box. This jail is creepy as shit. I was playing Rocket League. Oh, nice, man. What the fuck is that? Are you guys screwing with me and just opening up doors? Okay, this is not even necessarily towards the game, but this is just about game design. Who the hell puts an exit door into someone's prison cell? <laughs> yeah, but chat, we're trying to look for things like cold spots or uh, sounds uh, from the ghosts. You know, stuff like that. We're trying to look for those as a sign that we gotta eventually get out of here. So I'll, I'll let you know if I find anything spooky. No, we haven't found jack shit. From the, the looks of the map, the map can't be that big. My guess is it's probably gonna be a cell. I'm checking every cell. The, the yeah, it's, it's gotta be a cell. It would make the most sense. Every fucking time someone opens that, <laughs> I always think that someone's fucking opening it as a ghost. Is the only way we can uh, know if, uh, if something's around here is if we have that EMF? R wrong button, Zach. Yeah, we're opening and closing doors. I'm trying to ask you, is the, do you need the EMF to really figure out where the ghost is? Very true. Well, then come back with us. Let me pull out the spirit box. Hey, uh... Teammates, I'm going to put down the spirit box uh, and we'll just try to communicate with it for a second. Are you there? Zach, did we even check what the ghost name was? Great. We Yeah, there's also we got also gotta use the the uh, AI's name because the AI for the ghost has a name and that helps spawn it in or yeah, it gets it to answer you. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Are you there? Are you there? Uh, j just ignore it for now, team. Let's keep looking around. We're, we really need that EMF. Yeah, but chat, another thing I can do while we're in here is that, uh... There we go. What the fuck's the option for the book? Wow, uh, what's the button for the book again? Z 
Zach, what's the button to pull up the book again when you think you found a clue? I can't remember. Thank you. Yeah, but so, Chad, basically this is what we got to do. We got to find the three pieces of evidence. And there's either EMF level 5, spirit box says something. We find fingerprints, see spirit orb, which is just, you know, flying things on the screen. Uh, the ghost can sometimes write in a book if you ask it questions and freezing temperatures. And we got to get at least three of those from those six options. Then we can either guess spirit, wraith, phantom, poltergeist, banshee, jinn, mare, revenant, shade, demon, yuri, odin, or owen. I thought I read that as owen. No, it's probably odin. Zach, did you find anything like cold spots or spirit orbs? We're gonna check the cafeteria. I'm gonna place the uh, the spirit box on a cafeteria table. Are you there? Give us a sign. Hmm. Chad, feel free to let me know what you think it is. Just off an educational guess. Let's play a game. <laughs> you want to play a game? Zach, what equipment did you get? I only have a spare box and camera. I can't do much. Who had the EMF? Like, which one of you guys grabbed it? I hope one of you guys grabbed the EMF. Oh, it was you. Okay, cool. Uh, just lay us, lay us the way you think it is, I guess. Zach, it's our random with the orange jacket. Zach, I think he found it. Zach, I think he found it. You think? Yeah, because he uh, went to the library and started spamming his light. So uh, right now we're all just in here waiting for you. Yeah, that's what we. Oh, that's what we did. He started spamming his flashlights in the library. Are you here? Are you here? Here, somebody find a table where we can chuck these things. Here, uh, here, put it on the bench. Give us a sign. Did somebody grab the book or the camera? Because I only have just the, uh, the spirit box and the lights. Randoms, did either of you get the book or the camera? Okay, one of them has the book. Oh. Nah. Give us a sign. See, the biggest pain in the ass is that we don't know what his name is. Give us a sign. Are you there? Mm. 
Are you there? The video camera is still in here, so I'm gonna grab that and send the picture. Can you figure uh, figure out what his name is, by the way, or like it should tell you? Misa Anderson. Misa Anderson. Okay, because your mic's shitty, remember that. <laughs> Lisa Anderson, are you there? Lisa Anderson, are you there? Give us a sign. Here, random with the EMF, do me a favor and walk around the library a little bit more and see if she's maybe like farther back in, because sometimes they're picky about where they spawn. Are you there? Before. Okay, uh, Zach, we're gonna try the uh, the uh, security cams office because uh, the random thinks it also might be this one because it's super close. Are you there? It's also not here. Uh, she's in this room. The lights keep going out. That's unless the ram's screwing with me. No, I don't think it's the, the, the one because these lights go to the hallway. There's no light switch in here that goes specifically to the office. Oh, never mind, there is. Troll. <laughs> Omega Wool. <laughs> Lom says his name is Jimmy. Lol. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy! Hey! Compadre! Here, uh, why don't you guys pick up your EMF, or pick up your spirit box. Alright, EMF guy, uh, see if you can find a new spot. Zach, we're going to be looking around for a different spot, we're not having any luck. Give us a sign. Are you there? Hmm. Oh shit, whoa, game lagging. Are you there? Are we trying to look for a high EMF? Yeah. The moment it starts going, like, beeping. 
No, I mean like uh, not the EMF, the spirit box, because the spirit box uh, has a number that goes up and down, so that's what I'm asking. Okay, never mind then. Hmm. What was that? Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Are you there? Wait, I don't have the mic on. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? See, that's the thing with this game, though, that sucks sometimes, Chaz. It's just trying to find the ghost in the beginning. But once you find them, it gets intense. And it's like they're only designated throughout a certain area. They can't get you in uh, the whole entire map. As far as I'm aware, they can only get you in a designated area after you find it. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I feel like we're going in circles. What part of the map have we not seen yet? It might be outside. Are you there? That was new. Are you there? Zach, what was his name again? Lisa Anderson or something. Oh, my microphone's not working. Are you there? That's promising. Yeah, our radio's going in and out. We didn't even find her yet, though. Okay, so I guess she can kill you at random. Yeah, our lights are going out. And the radio's also going out. God damn it. Alright, randoms, just stick by each other. Don't separate. This is where it gets good, Chaz. This is where uh, someone might die. And remember, the only way you can hide from the monster is if you uh, get out of her line of sight and turn the light off. So. This is when it starts to get intense. Microphone's no, not working, damn it. Although I don't know how much I feel comfortable just standing completely surrounded by each other. We need to get moving. Can you hear us, Zach? Okay, I think we found out the closest that she's been so far is B block. Because we almost got killed, uh, our lights were going out and our radios weren't working. That's the closest we've got to anything. Are you there? Are you there? Lisa Anderson, give us a sign.
good chat. Let's go this way. Hey, uh, teammates, wait up. The lights are going out. Okay, really? Oh, I hear footsteps. Oh, this is where it gets good. Dude, she's gonna open the door. Zach, I think we should honestly just call it. We're not getting any luck. Yeah, just so you know, Chad, there's not exactly a way you can lose, per se. You kind of just get the guess wrong. Like, it'll just tell you whether you're right or wrong. That's all. Yeah, hey. Yeah, I hear the footsteps, too, but that just means she's on the hunt. That doesn't mean that we found her. Is that, uh, can't, can't call him shit. The best thing we can do is travel in a group to get f uh, more closer to her. That's all we can really do. Zach. Oh. Yeah, all, th all three of us... Uh, all three of us keep hearing footsteps and we're being hunted down. I think we're getting close. Oh, you're right there. I don't know if her uh, footsteps can go up and down steps. Like if she's above us, we'll hear her downstairs or something. Finally found it? Okay, good. Where, where was it? I had a feeling it'd be the warden's office. The correctional room. Pretty good. Alright, uh, let's test the ghost's patience. Lisa Anderson, are you there? And I got killed, god damn it. Oh shit, that's her. She's just over there. What the fuck? Well, I'm dead. But yeah, now you can be as a spear and watch your teammates. But you can't communicate with them, you can only just listen to them. All I literally just asked is like if she was there, and I, I crouched behind the thing and she found me, god damn it. And she snapped my neck. Ah, uh, goddammit. Hey, Saul, what's up, mate? Welcome to the horror games. Feel free to let me know how you're doing, mate. Right now I'm just dead, so I'm just spectating my uh, teammates so I can look at chat. What's up, man? It's been a minute. Dude, I'm so pissed that as soon as I found her, I died. That's shitty. Uh, I broke my MacBook and I'm watching on my iPhone. All right, no problem, man. That's all good. I really, if Zach and the, everyone else leaves, like as soon as they end up figuring out, you know, that I die, that'd be crappy. It looks like they're leaving. Come on, dude. They're gonna leave just because I died. That's stupid. Or like, uh, wait, are they? Okay, no, they're not good. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I have my suspicions. What are you playing? Uh, this is Plasmophobia. It's a horror game. A lot of you guys, uh, a lot of my followers have been requesting that I play some horror games, so I'm playing them on the channel. I play this on my YouTube channel, now I'm playing it on my Twitch. It's basically a ghost hunting game. You, uh, you went up to a squad of four, basically do, like, uh, 
a paranormal ghost show level of investigation at these random uh, sites, and you have to try to find evidence on what monster is haunting the site, and uh, you have to try to do it without dying. So you, you use things like uh, UV lights, spirit boxes, EMF, try to you get uh, three signs and then make an educational guess to see if you were right, and you gotta get out alive. And I died, so I'm spectating my friends and uh, the random. So just to see if they'll make it. What platform? This is PC. As far as I'm aware, this is only on PC. It's a really good game. It's uh, only about like 15 megabytes or gigabytes, sorry. And uh, it's only about like, I think, $20. So it's actually not that bad. It's a, it's a pretty cool indie game. Very nice game. It lags a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty solid. Yeah, they're just going to go back. Yeah, see, there's a stuttering instance right there. I don't blame them, though, for going back. It's just that the thing is, though, it's like... I, I think the only way you can really lose in this game is if you all died, because there's nothing really penalizing you for guessing wrong. Yeah, they're just going to go back in the truck. Oh, they left my spirit. Damn it. Can I just hitch a ride? Come on. Shit. Oh well. It looks cool and scary. You know, yeah, this game can be pretty uh, pretty good when it really wants to. The only real thing that I would say is a mild complaint is the occasional lag and trying to find the spirit because the spirit doesn't really roam that much. You have to look for it because it haunts a certain area of the uh, location you go to. So sometimes it can be a really, really slow process. Once you find it, it gets really intense. Those are my only big gripes. Other than that, it's pretty decent, I'd say. Dude, I'm so salty that I fucking got killed. Or, dude, I'm so salty I got killed. <laughs> yeah, you got first. We literally spent almost 20 minutes finding that thing. As soon as I asked uh, where she was, she busts in the door to, like, FBI open up and snaps my neck. I don't blame you guys for leaving, but I'm, I'm a little bit salty you didn't try to even bother. Uh, it's been 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah, but still. I mean, literally all that was was just 20 minutes of running around and then watching John get his neck snapped and leaving. I don't like that game. <laughs> of course you would. All right, select a job. Yeah, th this is easy. This is just a house. All right, we're going to do something a little bit easier. We're doing a house. Uh, what's the button to get out of the screen so I can walk around? Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, and then this is kind of the spawn room, ladies and gentlemen. This actually is not that bad. It's it's a nice indie game. It's a, it's a cool little game for like very cheap or like nothing at all, basically. <laughs> Plus, also you can do some really fun animations because it's so cheap. All right, ready up, boys. But that that last game was. Bullshit level Defcon five. <laughs> I love this bullshit button. <laughs> I don't use it that much, but uh, that was justified. <laughs> now we also gotta make sure that we figure out what the hell the ghost is correctly this time. All right, let's see. Actually, I'm going to grab the equipment first because everyone always hogs it. Oh. 
XX Dino underscore train XX has followed. Uh, thank you, Dino. Greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you for the follow. Hope you uh, end up enjoying the live stream here, mate. Okay, I got all the good stuff. I got the EMF spirit box and the light. Where's the ghost? Uh, Girthy Banana 2000. I've come from your YouTube channel. Uh, well, what's up, uh, the Banana 2000? Hopefully you're having a good day, man. What's up? <laughs> oh, you also dropped a follow. Thank you, too, as well, man. Greatly appreciate the follow. Thank you for uh, following both platforms. I tremendously appreciate it, bro. Hopefully you end up enjoying the live stream. Okay, so his name is Stephen Thomas. All right, the ghost is Stephen Thomas. Yeah, but uh, Dino and uh, Banana, thank you both for the follows. And Banana, thank you uh, also as well for following on the uh, YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy some horror games, mate. Yeah, this map is one of the easier ones because it's just a little house. Alright, open the door. Come on. Oh, oh you gotta push. Okay. Alright, down to the creepy-ass basement. <laughs> Yeah, chat, I might not be talking a lot, that's just because it's immersion, so uh, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not ignoring you guys, it's just for the funsies, so. Indeed, welcome to the family. Alright, not the kitchen. Is it the kitchen? So far I haven't found anything yet. What about the laundry room? Garage? Hmm. Uh, nothing so far. But yeah, basically, guys, for those of you guys that do not know what this game is for uh, the horror game that we're playing here, essentially it's pretty simple. All it is just basically like the average ghost show you would see. We basically just take EMFs and spirit box and like investigate a house, but we gotta figure out what the monster is, and then once we figure out what it is, escape alive. It's just kind of like a more violent version of the ghost show. I found the uh, ghost. It's inside one of the bedrooms. I, I get the giant uh, spike whenever I'm aiming it at the bed. Are you there? Give us a sign. In fact, I'm actually gonna shut the door. Actually, wait, no, he he is in here. Why am I shutting the door? I want to get out. <laughs> He's definitely in here. I'm getting a spike when I aim it at his nightstand. In here. here, at least one of you, uh, actually, wait, did anyone figure out if he needs to be alone for him to spawn? I'm gonna go check. Uh, I'm gonna check or... I'll, I'll check, I'll check. You stay with, you stay with the spirit box. And it's not that scary, man. Come on, it's just a little indie game. I'm a little baby, okay? What are you boys doing? I never watched seven viewers, let's go. Hey, yeah, that's awesome. If, if we have seven viewers, thank you guys, seriously. The viewer consistency, I, I only asked for it just recently about like how we need three on a regular basis. You guys have done that tenfold. You've doubled that number. Thank you. Oh, this 150s follower special is going to be a lot of fun. Alright, let's see what the ghost objectives were. So, discover the type of ghost, we know that, but it usually says which type of thing that the ghost prefers. I've done some more investigation for you. It looks like the ghost name is Stephen Thomas. This ghost also seems to respond to everyone. You should be able to use its name to anger it and get some paranormal activity. Make sure you refer to your journal. Okay, what's B? Okay, so uh, the ghost doesn't need you to be alone. It just goes after everybody. <laughs> what about this bedroom? What about the baby room? 
Nancy. Oh, by the way, chat, I also should mention this since we do have a lot of viewers then in the chat. This would make the most sense. And forgive me if I've already said this before, but I wouldn't want you guys to miss it because I assumed wrong. But uh, what we're going to be doing, by the way, very, very soon to wrap up some stuff for the uh, the year of 2020. I got a whole bunch of stuff planned for 2021, but for 2020, I got two big things coming out. We've already done one. Or sorry, we had three things and we did one. We did the 1200 uh, follower YouTube special, which we already did. Then we've got the 150 uh, follower special on Twitch. And then we've also got a Christmas podcast, both Christmas Eve and day. Because Christmas Eve and uh, Christmas Day are Thursday and Friday on the 24th to 25th this year. And I don't want to necessarily leave you guys without a, a, a stream. So we're going to be doing a podcast where we just uh, listen to Christmas music, open presents, and just... Uh, you know, vibe and have fun, like, like, so that way, just in case you guys are in quarantine, you guys have, like, a little family get-together to going on, we'll play some music, eat food, visit, tell some jokes, enjoy the memes, so, mark that in your guys' calendars as well, that'll be a lot of fun. Steven Thomas, give us a sign. Why am I even going down here? We already know he's in the bedroom. Steven Thomas, give us a sign. Steven Thomas, give us a sign. Hmm. Oh, you can turn it on and off and on the sink. Okay. Can you do that with the water? You scared the shit out of me, asshole! <laughs> I, I just opening up the closet and then and it's just like BOOM! BLACK GUY! I'm opening the closet it's like BOOM! BLACK GUY! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! I didn't even get jump scared by a monster, I just got jump scared by just a black guy hiding in the closet. You didn't even say boo or anything, you just do your presence. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and then he just said, hey, what's up? Yeah, that also had insult injury. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna walk around the EMF a little bit longer. Can you open up the back patio? No, you can't. Zach. No, yeah, I heard him. I heard that clear as day in the kitchen. I heard that in the kitchen, dude. Zach, what uh, Zach, what room are you in? Are you back in the bedroom? Maybe he needs the lights out? Close. Dude, he just said behind. What the fuck? Uh, it already is out. Does anybody have the video camera? And I just heard footsteps. Uh, anybody have the book? Oh, I, I, I guess it's dark sensitive. Like, he needs to be in the dark. I got the book. I guess he was emo. Here's the book. Give us a sign. Spooky chat. It's not as strong as it was before. Someone say his name. I'm not. Steven Thomas, are you there? Hmm. 
I'm at least gonna mark it down in the journal. Spirit box, and what else can I use? Eh, so, nothing so far, just spirit box. Every time I hear the ticking clock, I just think of ooh, this, aw, this, ooh, this, aw, this. Yo, he started. Okay. Oh, come back. Good, good for him. Tell him to subscribe to Black Ninja 797 on YouTube, lol. <laughs> Who turned off the lights? Nosferatu. Oh, God. Well, why? Steven Thomas subscribed to Black Ninja on YouTube. It's, it's funny, at least it's a, just a ghost. It's not like I'm trying to promote to you guys. And plus it's the least I can do since you jump scared the shit out of me. <laughs> hey, yo, why would I watch you when Shroud is, Shroud is streaming right now? Yo, ghost, can you kill Zack? <laughs> I see, I see your hand, pussy. Here, here, I'm gonna do some research in the van for a second. Don't let's not leave quite yet. Why'd you close the door? Wait, is there like anything else? What is that? Zach, your mental state is really, really low. What was the second piece? Uh, what was the second piece? All I had was just the spirit box. Spirit box, ghost writing, and this. Oh, you got the writing? Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Alright, so... If that's the case, we'll pull out a journal, and then if we have exactly that combo, it should give it to us. Right, so ghost writing... And then, uh, fingerprints. So therefore it's a spirit. Yeah, because uh, if you put in a certain combos, you only get a certain result. You're never going to get two results from a, a certain combo, I believe. So it was a spirit, just a ghost. I already put all the evidence in my book, don't worry, it's a spirit. Why are we going back out? We already have everything. I don't know. The door closed and then opened again. I think someone just hit the button again. Yeah. Come back. We'll just leave you otherwise. <laughs> Come back. Okay. I'm giving the ghost a souvenir of the flashlight. What is that area? Hmm. It's a poltergeist lom says no, no, a poltergeist is its own separate thing from spirit loms. Yeah, I think it's uh, six things. It's uh spirit, poltergeist, demon, jinn, wraith, uh there's, there's something that sounds like Yuri usually, but I don't know if that that's what it is. But I know there's spirit, poltergeist, demon, jinn, wraith, and uh, mm. something else. We're gonna, we're gonna pick another house. Yeah, but uh, chat, if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far, uh, definitely consider dropping a follow, because I know that these horror games really mean a lot to you guys. I'd be more than happy to start implementing them more on the channel. I was just like, hey, you know what? Screw it. Let's play some horror games. 
So yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, definitely make sure you drop a follow, guys. And, you know, shout out the channel. Like, let all your friends know, saying, like, you know, hey, check out this guy. He's cool and he plays a lot of horror games. So. <laughs> You guys ready? Hold on. I don't want to be the fucking ginger weirdo. Yeah, I'll be one of the chicks. Actually, now nah, I'll just be the guy with the brown jacket. The guy with the brown jacket's the coolest. I'm ready too. We're just waiting on uh, Nick and Zach. Yo, did you say yo? I said Nick. Yeah, all right, sure, sure you did. <laughs> all right, user apparently who sounds like the N word whenever I try to pronounce his name. Ready up. All right, chat. So uh, we'll take a look at the pages, and we're gonna play a guessing game. We're gonna try to guess who we think this is, uh, because it's funny. Because uh, even though it might sound like an innocent name, you might get something really funny. Like you might have like a, a demon, and his ghost name might be Steven. This <laughs> is like Steven the demon. It's just like okay, what the fuck? It's like it's not really much of an intimidating name, Steven. See, I just like the fact that this game uses you know, your microphone. There's another game that uh, did that where you were surfing on the dark web and they had two installations and you literally use your microphone because uh, things could jump scare you. It was actually a really cool game. I might play that for a horror game. I have to remember what it was though because Jack Septic I played it. All right, so it's Steven Davis and this ghost responds to people who are alone. Why is it that every single ghost is Steven? Just being like, everyone that apparently is named Steven dies. <laughs> You know, I don't scare easily, but I will admit paranormal shit does spook me out a little bit, so that's kind of why I like this game. I would never legitimately buy a house if I thought there was a chance that was haunted. Because, you know, I believe in ghosts, so. Now, remember, it does respond only if you are alone. Okay, he ain't in the basement. Is he? No, nah, I feel like it was spiked by now. Yeah, the EMF is honestly the best piece of equipment that's in the game because it makes finding the ghost so much easier. Because uh, no matter what creature it is, the EMF always finds it. Gives you much a broader range. All right, I'm gonna go up the steps. It's funny, I'm going up these steps sounds like someone's farting. Oh, hey, look, this guy's got a nice setup. <laughs> hmm. Whose room is this? Oh, nothing so far. Restroom? No. All right, chats. So let's take a look at the the options. What what are the possible things we could find? We got spirit, wraith, phantom, poltergeist, banshee, jinn, mare, 
Revenants, Shade, Demon, and Yuri and Owen. So there's 12 things. So I was, I, I was, I was wrong by a little bit, but it's okay. So put your guess down below in the chat. Let me know what you think it is that's, uh, that, that we're looking for. Is that the toilet? I don't know why the toilet's making so much noise. Yeah, you know, I think we have to end up actually being legitimately alone. I'm getting nothing without, uh, you know, this EMF. Every, everyone's split up, even though I would never say this in real life. I think somebody left a sink on in the other room. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Where the hell is my uh, EMF thingy? Did somebody find uh, my EMF? I think I dropped it. Give us a sign. Oh no, here it is. Never mind, I found my EMF. It was just in the wrong slot. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's not upstairs or downstairs. He's gotta be middle floor. About this room. Yo, uh, Orange Jacket, you gotta stop following me, mate. He won't uh, show up unless we're alone. I know you don't want to be alone, but we gotta do that. I got a spike on the middle floor. For a split second on the first floor right near the entrance, I got a spike. But I can't quite find it again. Is he in the kitchen? room? No. Was well, pretty damn close. Bathroom? Nope. What about the back room? Oh, nope, can't do anything there. So that means just like literally all that's left is this area. Garage? Oh. Are you there? Give us a sign. The closest thing I got was right here, so. I'm gonna turn the lights out. Are you there? Are you there?
Give us a sign. Anybody got any luck? Hello? That's that's the most awkward thing has been Responds. You guys find anything? No. I don't know what you. Well, the closest thing I ever got was being in the right in the uh, entrance of the door. It was like somewhere either up the stairs or in this side of the house, because uh, this is the only time I ever got a spike. You just chuck it with G. Yeah. Buddy, you gotta really stop following me. The ghost is only gonna attack us if it's alone. It literally, literally says that right here. Yeah. I know you don't wanna be alone, but that otherwise we're not gonna find it at all. Uh, did you do the Storm King? Uh, not yet, almost. Uh, the Storm King, I complete him in six missions. Because I, uh, wait, no, no, in six missions, yeah. Because I, uh, I remember if you said that he was on Bow Royale, and I am six away from that one. Or well, technically five, he is on the sixth one, so even the last five missions, uh, and then the sixth mission from now, I'll fight him. So, no, not quite yet. <laughs> this is Among Us, but horror guess, uh, game edition. <laughs> Zach, did you find anything? Or are you even there? I don't even know if Zach's in our lobby anymore. I really wish my teammates would actually stop following me. They're like, yeah, sure, and like this is the third time I've asked, and they're they're not they're they're clinging to me like glue, and we can't find anything unless they leave me alone. But they're too afraid to die. This, especially this orange shirt guy, he won't leave me alone. Oh, so that's what you were trying to do? <laughs> well, I was wondering where the fuck you went. I thought you disconnected, but I'm not falling for that shit twice. Zach, Zach, did you find anything yet? No, I've been hiding in the closet for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I see <laughs> that. Oh. Found something in the bedroom. Oh. It's uh, pointing this way. Wait, wait, hold on. You... Right here, uh, red hot, red hot in this room. Yeah, five, right in this room. You gotta get a certain angle, but he's in this room. Yeah, as soon as I'm standing right here, this is beeping like nuts. Okay, so somebody uh, put a uh, high EMF on the book. Give us a sign. Book. 
Not me. I, I, I have the EMF, the flashlight, and the spirit box. That was my job. The book's on the table. The book's on the bed. Okay, uh, someone someone has to stay in there alone because uh, the, the, he only shows up alone. Well, do you want to win or not? <laughs> you can't have it both ways. It's either win or die. Or either win or, win or lose, so... These guys are such fucking pussies. I give the one guy the credit because he's a kid, but not the other guy. This guy's a teenager. He should fucking have the balls to do it. Then we can't win. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my thing. Level 5 EMF, and... We gotta wait for the others. He's already doing that. Zach, anything? No, there's... <laughs> Team Sandy. Is this the Sandy for my character or the Sandy for me? <laughs> Remember, his name is Steven Davis. Assuming Steven's the old guy. Someone want to pick the camera up? I'm a go <laughs> The hash slinging slasher. <laughs> Will he, um, hold his bow? Like, find well, him when, when we're out here? Uh, the door's shut, and he's in there alone with the lights out, so I'm pretty sure we're good. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll check. I like his house as soon as I say I'll check, everyone follows. Not. The numbers say zero. I'll do it, I have the EMF. Much as I don't want to die. Yeah, I'll just chuck you the EMF. I'll, I'll, uh, Zach, I'll just chuck it on the bed. Zach, it was an intersection between the hallways. Like that, he was barely in the other room that we just checked out. So he might be just honestly within that upper floor. What's up? John, come up here. Yeah, what's up? You know how there's like that teddy bear that like stays around like. Yes. It's right here in the wall. You can see it on the other side too. Oh. Lol. So there's poopy water if you have that camera. 
Is that someone's EMF from the spirit box? Well, both EMFs are going off, so that means that's definitely not a glitch. Yeah. It's somewhere upstairs. It's one of these, like, first four rooms. Does everyone think that he maybe died on the shitter? Oh, no. Here's dirty water. <laughs> the little kid's so cute. I love how he's playing this game. Where'd you find it, buddy? Here. Oh, at the baby crib. Get out. Yeah, you gotta be alone. Yeah. Now watch as this axe completely left unharmed and it's like one of the three of us that dies. I just heard a talk. I heard it on the spirit box. Zach, did you hear it? Of course I heard it. I'm the only one in this room. Where's that uh, UV? Alright, uh, well, I have it, you rude ass. <laughs> I need it. Give me. Say sorry. be here a while for a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he might be in trouble. Yeah, let's check. Uh, does somebody have the video camera? Uh, I think the little guy does. Did you have uh, the camera, little dude? I'm so glad the batteries on the flashlight don't go bad. Oh shit! Someone's dying. Is that John? No, that's not me. Somebody else that's died. The little kid. It's the little kid died. Oh, he's following us. Run. <laughs> the little kid got killed. No. Dude, that's shitty. The little kid like should have died. He, uh, the ghost was behind one of the three of us. He should have killed us. Well, therefore, he would have had freezing temperatures. And the spirit box went off. Um, well, here's the thing, is that even though um, I didn't experience these, these always happen when a ghost spawns. We know that the spirit box went off, and we know that the freezing temperatures happen when you're about to die. So you combine that with the fact that we had the EMF, and that's all we need. Uh, 
Every single time I've always run into a ghost, there's always freezing temperatures right before they kill me. Always. Yeah, I can't give me anything. Let's see. What, what can we get? Jin's one. Owen's one. Jin again. It's either a Jin or an Owen. Because that's all we have left. Because we know Spirit Box and EMF are one of them. And when I try to do some of them as a combo, then I get nothing. So it's either Jin or Owen. It's a 50 50. Right down Ghost Warp. So it's a Jin. Alright. There we go, boys. That's so stupid. You can just open the door. Yeah, you could just troll. Just one more. <laughs> Payback's a bitch. Nah, don't worry about it. job all right chat i think i'm gonna let you guys pick this one because we probably only have enough time for like a select few more because usually these go on for about like 30 minutes so i'll let you decide chat we have the street house we've got the tanglewood street location the prison again beesdale farmhouse and the graffin farmhouse which of these five locations would you want, chat? Feel free to let me know in the uh, chat down below, and we'll end up giving a, one of them a chance. Hopefully none of them are too, too crazy. my chat pick the uh, next map okay. in the meantime just uh, just screw around I guess can I pick these ones up should be able to ah uh, yes shit yo chat let's see if I can get a hole in one or a Kobe Well, we already did the prison, though. But, yeah, I already I already asked, uh, so I guess I'll have to pick the prison. Uh, unless that is, unless somebody else wants to say something. But we'll give it a few more. I'll, I'll definitely play it. Lobs, don't worry. I won't, I won't ignore your request. I'll just see what the majority rule is. That's all, mate. Chat says prison. Prison again? Okay. Go then. Yep, just one second. I just gotta get this hole in one for good luck. Or not hole in one, uh, free throw.
or just take the ball from me. <laughs> you got one. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Actually, let me get one more in. Hold on, just one more attempt. Don't worry, chat, I won't make you wait too long. Alright, come on, this is for all the marbles. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Probably, probably right about here is where you need to stand. Nah, fuck it, alright. Good job and prison. Alright, ready up. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for them, Chad. I already hit ready up, so. Hey, there we go. All right, perfect. That's good luck. And start. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun, Chad. That was awesome. All right, one more. Let's see if we got one more in us. Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a Christmas body hop. All as you can see. Stop, stop. I was waiting for someone's spawn. I think we're just waiting for Zach. Let's see. Alright, so it says that the ghost is Richard Harris and only spawns to people that are alone. So we gotta remember Richard Harrison. Wait, actually, was it Richard Harrison or Richard something else? Richard Harris. Richard Harris. I thought it was Richard Harrison. Yeah, I thought so. Don't worry, Zach. Just once more. I got the EMF this time around. I don't know if anybody else grabbed the second EMF, but uh, this should hopefully be a lot easier this time around. Dude, your flashlight looks like a purple dildo. I got a strong flashlight. Alright, let's see if we got this, chat. Let's take a look. Dude, why are they so fucking far away from me? I don't want to be the one to die. Oh. Boo! <laughs> gotcha. Does anybody know if they can 
I really hope not. What I do. I mean, he only responds to people alone anyway, so makes sense. Why do you keep closing every door? I'm trying to look for stuff. Dude, I can't see jack shit. Dude, I cannot literally see jack shit in this in this prison without a light on. If I drop my flashlight, I'm screwed. True. By the way, Chad, I always just like to mention at random points, if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing and definitely like seeing some horror games because we're doing a lot of right now, Make sure you definitely consider dropping a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. I'll let you know when I'm playing some more games next. Okay, you brought it. There's nothing in the library. Zach, where was the warden's office? Because that was the last time that we found something in here. Just, that's just my guess. Upstairs. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes, the prison showers. These are probably where we'll find ghosts. I definitely see spirit orbs around here. The, the, like the little things flying across my screen. So I'll put that in there. Okay. Yeah, I see the occasional ghost orb flying around my screen, so. I found the steps. Oh, let's go then. I found the steps. See, it's it's weird though. Like the kid acting normal would actually be more scary because that like that normally creeps me out as like children, like in, in like ghost video games or like just horror games in general. Children can be creepy sometimes if it's, if it's executed right. Right, here, here's the warden's office. I have it. I have a thermometer, not an EMF. Oh, okay. The warden's here? office is clean. Okay. Warden's office is clean. Large map looks like. You don't want to know. Medium. 
There was oh. one time that me and my friends ended up playing on a uh, asylum, and uh, that thing is humongous. It actually makes it not God. fun. Damn. Here's the infirmary. Okay, a few. I've got nothing. I've got. I haven't even got a lickety split of anything. Damn. Zach, how you doing? We haven't found anything. Mm. My question is. My question is, how the hell will we get back out of here? Wait, what? I'm wondering how the hell we get back out of here, because I don't remember where the, the door was to <laughs> no. get to this floor. Oh, we've definitely been through here. That's like a balcony. Actually, before you go down, come back up a sec. We never checked this long hallway back here. Rooms? Nope. This is the bathroom. There's even more. Chief of Security Office. Is it picking up anything or no? No, I haven't got a, li a lickety thing of anything. Damn. So, nothing. They're still over there, which is the exit. Escape. Eventually, we can just uh, write this off, but problem with these big maps, yep. you can't find anything. Nothing in the cell block can be. We can't find it. Uh, we can't find anything either. It's on, and I can't find literally anything. It's been on, I've got nothing. Like, just, it's been stuck in green. That's the one problem with this map, is it's a little too big. I want you to die, die by a spirit, please. I can't even find a spirit, Aloms. <laughs> I've already died at least once. Trust me, it's a lot more intense when you're trying not to die. Oh, I found oh, you guys. Hello. You know where the other guy is? No. Well, Zach, don't go that way, because we came from that way and there's nothing. Kid, where are you? Yeah. Zach, don't go that way, there's nothing. We've, we've scoured that whole area. It's literally not worth your time. I doubt he would be outside, but I guess it's worth a shot. Yeah. Might as well, we found nothing. Looks like he... Give us a sign. Calls.
Oh, well, do we even check if he spawns when you're alone? Yeah, he does. He only does spawn if you're alone, but the, you, you've been following me this whole time. Oh. There was that one point where I mentioned that a few games ago when I was playing on a house with some people, and uh, they clanged to me like glue. No matter how many times I said you got like leave me alone for it to spawn, they rather would have their their own sanity spared in real life and not get scared than try to win the game. So. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'll just uh go my separate ways. I. Right. Well, I'm gonna go this way where you're going, so. Can you even open with this? No, you can't. Yeah. Oh, we have literally found Jack did all this shit. Are you there? Is there a basement? Here's hoping that because I'm alone, Shat he'll spawn. Or she. I don't remember the name at this point of what it was. Okay, thank you, that's actually a help. Yeah. So someone did die. What's the evidence that we've got so far? Anything? We got one. What was it? Yo, it's like a, a temperature thing. Detector uh. room below. And I found the room. I found the room. I finally found an EMF strength. I finally found one. I'm not moving. I see somebody also down the way from me. Walk forward. Yeah, it's right down this way. I finally got a ping. Finally. He walked right out of this room and I pissed myself. What floor is this? What what room is this? This is first floor. The door to the van is like that hallway down there. That big double door. Okay, good to know. Let's remember that. It's the visiting center. This this makes sense. We have fingerprints and freezing temperatures. Are you there? We also have the EMF, by the way, even though it's not five. 
road down. So that's good. That's good. Yeah, I, I, I see the cold temperatures too. Are you there? Are you here? Are you there? Are you here? Seeing Zach's face is like the funniest thing ever. Zach? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I just want to make sure that you saw that. Zach. He might have died. What do we have so far? What, what, what can we guess? You want to make a pit stop to the van? Yeah, Alright, I'm, I'm oh, literally... Uh, I was at the van. Oh, we... oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No. He's moaning in my ear. creepiest shit ever. I'm literally just hiding in a corner until one of you guys gets back to that exact room. Zach, you know how to get back to it, right? Zach. You remember how to get back to the room, right? Uh-oh. Be in the eyes when you're killing me, you coward. Shit. Go away. Zach, can you hear me? I, I gotta say this before I get uh, get my radio to cut out again. He's like surrounding me. You gotta hurry her up. I literally can't get out of this room. He's stalking it. Noted. Tell me when one of you gets here so I know whether that footsteps are you. Remember to check the name before you left. Big guys in here. It's good. Yeah. 
Yo. He doesn't like us. <laughs> yeah, ghost orbs literally look like a uh, literal floating sphere. Oh, come on! Seriously? I literally... I, I knew he saw me, but I was hoping that I could, like, run over to Zack and, like, I don't know, he would, like, bust, bust into a glitch or something. Or, like, maybe... <laughs> sounds horrible. I was hoping he would actually kill Zack. But unfortunately, no, he chose me, damn it. Alright, well, there's two of us left. They better fucking find the evidence. So, so what was it? Ghost orb, fingerprints, and... Freezing temperatures, yeah. Y yeah, so that would be nothing. Unless, unless Ghost Orb doesn't count. What about Ghost Handwriting? What would that give us? Makes any sense. The only thing that would make sense is Banshee or Wraith. Do the uh, things we got left because we know we have fingerprints and we know we have freezing temperatures. So it's either Wraith or Banshee. I probably should have ran out the other room. God damn it! Well, you got with your your wish, Loms. Thanks for being on my side. Oh, that's Zack. He's hiding in that corner. Unless that's just my dead body. Might be my dead body. No, that's that is Zack, okay. And the cool thing is you can interact with things, so I could probably screw with Zack here. <laughs> is that you, Job? Are you throwing those? <laughs> You, my bitch. What happens if your sanity reaches zero? No clue, but I don't read that. Uh oh. Zach, do not move. Can I see the spirit now that I'm a spirit? Or does he kill me? Hey, old fucker! You killed me. I'm gonna fight fight you. Save my boy. Where the fuck did you go, Brutus? Come here, you little shit. Hey, come, hey, hey, fat fucker. Oh, you're not pleasant looking. Well, apparently he can't do anything to me now that I'm dead. He just will sell like pussy. Yeah, pussy. You know, it was Zach's in a situation that I was in. I'm gonna make a huge assumption and say it's uh, ghost orbs. And I'm coming back because I don't want to be here anymore. Okay. 
It's either a Wraith or a Banshee, dude. I'm assuming. What, what was the one that I got? I, I think if it was Ghost Orbs, it's Wraith, right? Wait, no, none of those give me a combo, though. Damn it. Zach, wait up. Zach, I'm coming. Wait. Friend. Friend. Wait. <laughs> Zach. Don't leave. Whew, I got in. So I just press the number one. Oh, there we go. I guess I got a souvenir. Alrighty then. Yo, Zach, for the record, you almost got killed like twice after I died. He was going for a double kill. Yeah. Like, and I got to see him in full force. That dude was a fucking fatty. <laughs> yeah, I saw him as well. Alright, I think I'm gonna end the stream there, then. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's stream, guys. And hopefully you ended up enjoying. If you did, I tremendously appreciate it. As always, you guys could drop a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. And I'll let you guys when I'm live streaming next. Look forward to Zelda Hyrule Wars tomorrow, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed another live stream for the most unique live streamer you're ever gonna see. Peace out.